I have to tell you guys something. Um, it's very hard to change my clothes with my dreads. That's one thing. <laughs> um, but no, I, I feel, oh, hi, Bubba. Winston and I are snuggling right now. Um, I haven't felt this good at camp in a long time, like this relaxed. I feel so relaxed because our campsite is so private. There's no strangers around. There's no camps for like Winston to wander into. There's no camps for that are close that people could wander over to us. And there's no dogs. There's no dogs that could attack Winston. Um, and he hasn't even been interested in going outside this little like circle. <laughs> he is happy and he feels safe and I feel happy and I feel safe. And there's really something to be said for that. Um, it's been a long time for me. Just no, there's just no drama. There's no stress. It's quiet. It's literally just us like in the forest, like on this mountain with, with, it's just, it's quiet. Like all we hear is cows and the wind th through the trees and birds and the occasional grasshopper that's, <laughs> that's chilling. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty magical. I've been, I've been needing this for a long time. It's been, it's been missing a lot this year and it feels it feels it feels really good i feel very free and at peace right now Y'all, this is what I'm looking like this morning um, after cows woke me up like right outside of my van at 6.30 a.m. But I was too tired to like get my phone and record it. I was honestly afraid I was going to get out of the van and find that like my solar panels had been trampled. Thankfully not, but there were cows in our camp like all night. Now, I, it's rare that I can really hear stuff outside of my van. That's a massive benefit of a minivan is they're so well insulated and then I also play white noise at night so Winston and I like takes a lot for an outside noise to wake us up but Todd told me there was a big bull in camp at like 2 a.m this morning I didn't hear it but I heard these cows come through at like 6 6 30 one was right next to my van but thankfully my solar's good and nothing was trampled or eaten <laughs> so been a day already. Are you checking in on our solar panels, making sure they weren't trampled by any cows? Because you're a mini cow, but there's big cows, huh? <laughs> Good boy. Talking to it, kid. Interesting, it stopped moving when he barked. Oh, there it goes. I have an update for you all on my toilet that I talked about in yesterday's video. So um, a lot of people said, Amanda, why don't you just put a pool noodle on the top of the toilet? Well, that I, I can't because again, it's a height issue. 
with the top of my ottoman. So I can't put a pool noodle. Those things are thick. It would, you know, I might as well just use my taller toilet at that point, right? So um, noodle won't work. The My favorite suggestion that I saw was to get the Gorilla Glue Adhesive Spray. So I'm going to pick some of that up this weekend. And my friend Beth, whom I've known for a while, she actually messaged me and sent me a link to my exact toilet through Walmart. Now, it is 30 bucks, and it can't be delivered to me for like another like two or three weeks, but that's fine. I'm going to order it and buy the adhesive tape. Um, someone else said like, why don't you just get a bigger ottoman? Well, that, that defeats the purpose. Like I don't want to have to waste a ton of money and I'd rather just get my same toilet because it's lasted me three years. So, um, Sure, I could get another ottoman for 30 bucks, I guess, or get a new toilet for 30 bucks. I'd rather get the new toilet just because I know that this one's reliable. Um, so those are my options. I love this ottoman. It's also very reliable. So if I can just stick with my system, that is the goal. Um, especially because another thing is if I get the exact same toilet, I can even just like switch out the lid and keep the toilet for when the actual base of this one starts cracking. I don't know. There's lots of options, but I appreciate everybody's input. I decided on the Gorilla Glue adhesive spray in the meantime, and I will wait till I receive the toilet from Walmart. Now, Beth did also find the toilet that I have on Amazon for $85. <laughs> I don't know why or like what the issue is with that or like what the deal is, but obviously you're not going to spend $85 on the, on my toilet. That's weird. So that's the update. But in the meantime, the tape is, it's holding up. It's doing its job. Today is my shower day. So I keep my three gallons of shower water on my passenger seat floor, but I put it out in the sun this morning because it will warm up nicely. It's 75 today and sunny. Ooh, th these beetles are driving me nuts around here. So um, it's probably almost um, warm enough, but I have this little $5 table that I can put my shower items on. And then this is my bucket. I actually have a little bit of water in there still, so my pump goes right in there. And then I just hang my, my nozzle on here, so I will fill up my bucket with uh, about two gallons or so. Now, as you can see, I always set up my tent on my outdoor rug and I stake it on the corners, but I also wear my shoes <laughs> because it'll clean my sandals and my feet. Oh, there's some dust right there from when I showered last. And Winston will stay in his playpen when I shower. And I have the tapestry clipped to the top because that's a screen up there. So this allows me to keep the tent nice and warm while also keeping the sun out of my eyes. So that is the basic setup. And then what I do is, like I said, Winston will stay in here during my shower. I will put my camp chair right outside of the shower and that will hold my towels and I can put my clothes on it. So that's that's how I do it. And then when I'm done showering, I'll keep Winston in the playpen for about five minutes. I have a towel on the floor of my van right here with my hygiene caddy so I can do all my skincare and all that stuff after my shower. That is the process. Also after yesterday's video, I know I've, I feel like I've referenced it a lot in this in this video, but a couple of people asked me about how to use Amazon lockers to receive Amazon packages. So tomorrow I'm heading back into town because I need to stop at the Amazon locker. Um, I had an adapter for my solar panel delivered there. So I will take some helpful footage and uh, teach anybody who doesn't know how, um, how to use Amazon lockers. I've been using them actually for years, probably about five years now. Uh, they are just, they are so excellent. Very easy, very convenient, and Amazon has so many things that nomads need, so it's just really easy. I will, like I said, include that footage in an upcoming video 
maybe tomorrow or you know sometime this weekend I also might make a short about it so that is on the list but you know when you guys comment stuff especially things like hey Amanda can you tell us about this or teach us about that or show us that that really helps me out because some days like even like today I'm like I was asking Todd like oh what should I what should I talk about because I don't want to bore you guys um, and I don't want to be like super repetitive but if there are things that you want me to delve into a little further discuss more specifically you have questions that really helps me come up with content because the reason I started doing this and the reason that I make YouTube videos is to teach and inspire and help people especially when it comes to uh, being you know budget friendly simple van life minimalist um, you know in a small vehicle those are kind of my specialties so if y'all have questions, hit me with those in the comments. I love seeing that. It really inspires me to create stuff that you all want to see. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video all the way through. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me in the algorithm. And if you comment, that's even better. I love you guys. See you next time.